I know Laura's been busy. <laughs> Just wiping the packages down before they go back aboard. Leads to bad things. Yes. <laughs> and so all, what all this roundabout conversation has been about is that you wouldn't eat a steady diet of nothing but freeze-dried food, and we would never recommend that you take nothing but freeze-dried food on your boat, but we think you ought to have some. Because when everything else is spoiled, the freeze-dried food, freeze-dried meals in a Mylar package will still be edible. Yeah. No matter if you get water in the boat and everything got soaked. Yep. When the fresh food is rotten and the cans are rusted yeah. and the dried beans got wet, <laughs> those freeze-dried meals will still be available. All you have to do is add water. You don't even need a pot for that. Well, you need to be able to heat up the water. You need to be able to put hot water. Worst case, you and pour it in because you know it's in. yeah, it's designed for backpacking. So yeah. all you you need really need to do is open the pouch and pour in hot water, yeah. or even cold water, and leave it sit. Yeah, if you're and it's still enough, edible. Cold water would work just fine. I mean that's like lifeboat situation, but anyway, you can always count on it. And if you can prepare it properly according to directions, it's not bad at all. Yeah. Or you can add a can of corn or something else to it and make it. A can of smoked salmon, uh, yeah, or a can of beef or lamb, things like that. Doctor it up, a little spices, some hot sauce. <laughs> Did you start talking about food again? <laughs> you just had a curried lentil soup. <laughs> I know. For lunch. Chuck, looks like we're uh, progressing. Yeah, we're making a lot of progress. The whole head locker is out. Oh, we missed some of the insulation there. Head locker's I'll out. Rip that out. I, not without a mask on, though. Yeah. And then uh, I vacuumed all this stuff up. This, those screws are really corroded bad on the bottom, but yeah, it's okay. They'll come out. And you see how the, the boat is built. Everything is to these tabs, but I was surprised that these are glassed in. I thought they would be screwed to the tabs, they're not. This one and this one are both glassed in. But this one, which holds the water tank, has broken loose. Ah. This one comes out, we make a new one. This one I might grind out and I might as well. It was the original plan, take it out and, yeah, and make Yeah, grind new. it out and make a new one. But yeah. And I was surprised that this locker actually came out swinging around. This locker all came out in one solid one piece just slid right in, you said? Yeah, well, the others. That one is stapled together, that's why it came out like that. Yeah. And this piece where, right here where I'm sitting, it's out there all in one piece. This yeah. piece that goes from here and across like this, uh, three, three panels. Okay, that unscrewed around the bottom and then just whoosh, lifted right Dry, out. Dry, just in lifted one piece. right out. Cool. Yeah. So those should be real easy to make for patterns and get those back in pretty quick. Yeah. No, the wood's not in too bad a shape except down at the bottom where it was wet a lot. Yeah. No. And, uh, and in places where, you know, it had some uh, abrasion traffic and, you know, things getting shoved in the lockers. And yeah. Things like that. Well, originally these openings had, oh, that stuff right yeah, there that, on them. That yeah. And plastic stuff. I, that's the only... But over the that year, has well, that on there still, isn't it? Um, no, there's another one. But over the years, these they get brittle and the glue yeah. came off, and this one's starting to come off now. And they start looking like that, so yeah. it's much better to just pull them off. Very cool. Well, looking good. Uh, no snow today. <laughs> so far, it might snow this it evening, raining, but raining it's this morning snow. In the forecast for the afternoon just like yesterday but yesterday it rained all day long and wind blowing up to 40 knots it was ugly it was an ugly day yesterday it was like 36 37 degrees was the high and it rained all day long today it's a little colder and um, we had fog and rain in the morning and right now the sun's out sun's out and it's actually and it's dry so we're in a, a dash day. 
they unload all this stuff into the pickup truck and dash back up to the garage so we can unload it without getting it all wet. Yeah, I just made a run to the storage locker, all this stuff at the house that we've sorted through, uh, threw that in the back of the pickup and took that up to the storage locker, got that out of our hair. Yeah. And we'll have room for some of this stuff. It looks like we should be able to uh, start delivering some uh, stuff to Andy on Monday so he can start cutting patterns, eh? Yep. Awesome. I'm going to cut these hoses and get this water tank out of here. All right. I think. Yeah, it'll come out. It'll, it'll, it'll come out through the hatch. <laughs> and We're so worried about that they, they you know, they, they could have built this boat put all the furniture in, and then put the deck on. Yeah. But they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, putting the camera down and uh, pitter-patter. Pitter-patter. All right. Okay. When a sailor ties a knot, it should be able to easily be untied. Usually. <laughs> You were just going to cut that off. I was, but you know what? I think I can just untie it. Well, so why bother? Like why cut it? Save Besides, it. it's really thick, and I don't have a heavy knife with me. Use my. It's funny. You got stuck yesterday. You had a whole bunch. Had some stuff you wanted to do, and you got stuck without a knife. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We've taken everything off the boat, and you didn't have a knife. I wasn't. I'm used to just having them here on the boat. Now, usually, when I'm walking around, I only have a Swiss Army knife on me. I don't usually carry a rigging knife on me when we're ashore like this. So I didn't have a heavy knife that I needed yesterday. Well, it's real. The table's down. Yeah, it is. Here we are. Hey, Chuck, how's it going? Terrific. What'd it's you get? terrific. Huh? It stopped snowing, yay! It stopped snowing, yeah. <laughs> they said we're going to get a two inch accumulation though. Yeah, well, snow. not quite yet, so we have a dry enough period where we can run down and get something done on the boat. So and what'd you Clorox get? Clorox cleaner with bleach, which... Um, is not the same stuff you used. Yeah, it is. That's not the same bottle. <laughs> no, it's... Contains more. Oh, 40% more. Yeah. Ooh, uh. Oh, whatever. Marketing. It's okay. <laughs> um, it has the required amount of uh, sodium hydrochloride. There we go. And that's, that's what matters. That's what uh, matters. It will kill 90% of the, uh, a very high percentage of the mold up there. I don't know exactly, but say 90%. And I also bought stuff that uh, Don Casey recommends for cleaning up the inside of an old boat, TSP, the old standby trisodium phosphate. That'll take care of the rest of it. So you're going to do the bleach and then the TSP? I'm going to spray the bleach on and let it sit. Then we're uh, come back tomorrow, spray more bleach on and scrub. I don't know where our scrub brush is, if it's in the storage locker, but we got a new one here, so it'll work. I know that other one was chewed up. And old. So yeah, Brie ate the old one. Scrub brush. <laughs> So <clears throat> that's what's on the agenda. We're going to just spray this stuff and leave it sit. And uh, do we have anything down here that we need to unload? Oh, we're going to get the sail bags off. Yeah, take the stuff on deck, the roll of line, yeah. and some of the stuff out of the cockpit lockers and get that up and start sorting through there. $20. There you go. Right. <laughs> $20 here, $20 there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, both. Bust yeah. out another thousand. Okay, so uh, for us, this bust out another twenty. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're ready to get moving. I was just back taking some pictures. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, don my mask and uh, my protective mask and my safety glasses and go up there and spray. All right, and at that point, I think I'm gonna get out of your way. Yeah, we'll just whoosh, like that. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's going to be a yucky job. Well, got a little bit more done today. Uh, boat scrubbed up and everything off of the top deck. A few more things out of 
from down below. See how our uh, how high our water line is now? <laughs> That's up about what at least a foot. Uh, I think I'd call it eight inches. Oh, I think I'd call. It, I'll I'll take you up on that bet. Okay. I'll take you up on that bet. But anyway, you slice it. We're, slice it. We're way up out We're of the water. We're way up out of the water now. All right, so finishing up for the afternoon. It's starting to rain and we're expecting snow here shortly. Time to pack it up and get back to the house. Yep. <laughs>